She be talking about that makeup. She be talking about them nails. She be showing you the hair. It's a ministry, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the top of my nail storage. And right here in this little basket, I think I got these baskets from um, either Dollar General or Walmart, and it was two of them in the pack. So I'm not exactly sure, but they're just ordinary gray baskets. But I keep my towels right here that I use um, on the table when I'm doing my client's nails. I have my roll of paper towels right there. And on this side, I have a few things. I have all of my different nail art brushes. I have alcohol. I have, I believe this is baby oil. I have um, acetone. I have Mortimer. And I have, uh, I don't know what this one is. This might be more um, alcohol. I think one of these is more alcohol. Um, and then right here I have my cuticle oil. I have my hand sanitizer because you want to always make sure that your hands are sanitized before you start doing your client's nails. Right here is more alcohol that I use to spray things down if I need to. And right here is my bleach and Fabuloso mix. Keep it clean and I use this to wipe off my table when I'm done. And here is my lotion. Right here you guys, I use this um, once I'm finished the nails and I have my clients to wash their hands, I give them some of this scrub right here by Tree Hut. Um, and I use these little disposable forks. So if you're trying to figure out what is these for, it's little small appetizer forks. And I just scoop some up. I tell them to grab it off and then I just dispose of the fork. And um, that's after I finish their nails. Right here is my dipping dish. The first drawer right here, holds a lot of different things. So first things first, back here is my um, star jars that I use when I am doing the manis. And um, right here I keep all of my nail brushes that I use. If you guys want a more detailed information on anything, please comment below and I'll make sure I get those out to you guys. This is another little storage thing that I got from either Walmart or Dollar General. These are all my other polishes that won't fit up there on my polish rack. And let me try to zoom in just a little bit. You guys may have seen this in one of my videos. Definitely seen it in my intro video. But I keep the polishes organized up there. All of my black polishes right there are all gel polishes, okay? And I just keep them organized in color code, okay? So back down to here, these are all the extra ones that I have. Um, and I also keep a lot of my sheer coats. So if it's a coat that's sheer like this, I keep them in here or maybe a glitter coat. Um, and then these are all of my um, crackle polishes. So I keep them in here as well. And um, white polishes as well as my top coat. I keep that in here as well. So over here is my acrylics. The current acrylic that I am using is the, come on, focus, is the Mia Secret. And that's this one right here. This is the current one that I'm using. And um, the Nutra Balance, and that's the pink. And then this one right here is in clear. It's by Instant. And then these are two custom colors that I created. This one right here is a pink. And then the one down at the bottom is like a pearl white. It's very pretty. Um, this is one of my practice fingers. Um, and right here, this was a freebie and this is how I actually made that pink acrylic. Um, I ordered some powders and they sent me this freebie right here in the color magenta. So I just added a little bit of this to make to my clear acrylic um, to make the colors. If you guys want to see how to make acrylic custom acrylic colors, just let me know and I'll show you guys that below. 
Um, so these are, all of these are bands that I use on myself, so I keep them at the bottom. But all of these are brand new bands. Um, I believe these are medium, uh, medium grit, I believe. And I got a pack of these from my local beauty nail supply, okay? The second drawer is where I store all my long things, so all of my um, things like my cutters for acrylics, my cuticle oil, my long clipper, some nippers. This is the ones that I use to take diamonds off. Um, these right here are what I'm using currently for all of my, um, what is this stuff called? All of my pigment powders to rub them on if I need to. This is more clear, um, cuticle cutters. Right here, these are just a few glues um, that I use. Right here is my Bond Aid, which is all my primers. My Bond Aid, my Kiss acrylic primer, and my Instant Primer. And then right here is the lid to my um, cuticle oil. These right here are my um, ceramic my ceramic um, bits. Right here is the ceramic bits. And then I have um, razors for when I do do feet. But I only do my own, but I keep the box of razors right here. And then this right here to keep my pencil to pick up my diamonds um, right there. This is like a foot scrubber as well, and I keep this down here just in case I need it, but I don't never use it. But another cuticle pusher, a brush, um, more um, tools, um, nippers for your cuticles as well. Right here I have my foil glue and my top coat that I keep right here. And then I keep um, some Q-tips right here because I like to be able to clean up if I need to. And then right here are all of my soakers to soak off things. These are, um, this is another top coat right here and it wouldn't fit down here so I just keep it up here. Woo, I'm sorry. Um, and then I have another primer, and this is actually a small gel polish color that I have. All of these over here are nail clippers, the straight edge, curved edge, small ones, big ones, all types of size. So then let's close this. This is my third drawer. I keep glitters in here, and then I keep all of my nail files. I gotta get more of the big blocks. These are disposable small blocks, which is actually really good. And these are disposable um, hand files, which is amazing as well. These are all my pigments and um, powders that you can also mix to make custom acrylics as well. So that's in that drawer. My next drawer is more of an art drawer. So I have more different glitters that I use for arts. These are foils. These are my, these in the back are my custom acrylic glitters um, that I created so I keep them back there and I also have these containers if I want to make more but for the time being I don't really have clients that get a lot of um, those particular nails more so my daughter or myself so I don't make really big ones I just make small ones and then these right here are um, design polishes as well as um, these type of foils right here that you can crunch up and put on as a design. I keep my practice fingers right here and then I have tons of nail glue, um, nail, um, well acrylic colors because I do a lot of hand drawn designs as well as in this drawer. This drawer is full of that as well. Now back up here, right here in the back, I keep all of my nail swatches which is all of my different um, colors that I have um, and the gel polishes as well as all of my different foils that I have. I have them in here as well and um, I just keep all of my custom, even my custom glitter colors like these right here. You see that? Y'all, they so pretty. So I keep those all up here and then it also, it has the name on it so then it'll be easier for me to locate in the drawer. So I keep those back here. So I wanted to show you guys that. Now, behind my, beside there, right here is actually um, more bleach, um, some glass cleaner and some, some, um, spray to keep my room smelling pretty good even though I have a lot of candles that I keep lit too as well but this right here you guys if you do not have in your space 
if you do not have in your space a place for um, ventilation because you definitely want to be able to ventilate your area or you will have acrylic smell all over the place this fan right here is amazing it is a good investment first of all these two parts right here um, you can pull out is one on this side and then one on the other side and then it also has a screen on it to keep anything from the outside from coming in but you turn it backwards and it exhausts everything from out of your space to the outside okay so then onto here these are where I keep some of my nail bits that I that I use sometimes too I just did my nails yesterday so I have some of these bits out right here these are my ceramic bits it's the coarse and the fine and then this is the current drill that I've been using if you want to know my review on this drill please ask me and I'll be sure to give it to you but below you will find the link to a lot of the stuff that I have as well as a lot of the stuff that I will be getting right here is just my little mask and some little glasses that I wear um, when I need to this is the current light that I'm using and I purchased this light at a Goodwill you guys because I could not find the light that goes across um, for now so this is what I use right now with a good bug this is my current dryer you guys and I love this dryer this was one of my major investments outside of um, my drill this was another major investment and it has the blue light the fan and the timer so you guys see and it has the timer right here let me see if I can get up close to it and it has the timer hold on I gotta probably cut the light off let me turn the light off okay so if I just turn the fan on That's the fan. I can also hit it where it can do the timer. Well, it's not, there it goes. You can see it right there. So it has two minutes, um, I can't see, two minutes, three minutes, and five minutes. And that's pretty much it for that. So I'm gonna turn that around. And only thing that I keep on my desk, right now of course I have these two things. These two things go to my, um, to my camera, but my phone, of course. But I keep a little rag right here, and then this is what I created for my clients to put their hands on. Um, and it's nothing in here but a towel, you guys. And this is something that our sheets came in, our sheet set came in this. So I just rolled up a towel and put it in here, and this is what I use for my clients to hang their hands over just like that. Um, and I just keep that up there, but I always wipe down my area with bleach and um, bleach and Fabuloso, okay? So I'm going to move to the back so that you guys can see what my clients see. You guys, I'm drinking my coffee and here is my tablet. I keep this out as well for my clients just in case they wanna watch something, okay? But this is what you see right here um, as a client. Of course, I gotta straighten up my cords, you guys. I pulled them out a little different because I did my hands and my feet yesterday, so my cords are usually organized like this where they're wrapped up like that. My little waste basket I got from Dollar Tree, and then if my clients need to get um, a polish color, if they're sitting right here, all the thing they have to do is look up right there, and then there is the polish rack, okay? So I'm gonna come over here really quick and show you guys some of the polishes. So right here is a whole line of um, Juplet, I guess that's how you pronounce it. I could be saying it wrong, but it's a whole line of these, and then these are all of my gel polishes right here that my son um, actually did a swipe through, and these, are a lot I have a lot of ice I have a lot of Broadway I have a lot of different ones but pretty much you guys I'm not a picky person when it comes down to my nail polishes I just get what I think is pretty and that's just how that goes so these are all of my different polishes and let me tell you guys what I did um, to help me with um, building up my sack what I did was I pretty much just like brought a polish everywhere that I went that I seen the polish if I liked it I brought it okay 
Um, but down here is storage where I keep a lot of my extra stuff, okay? Um, but yes. She be talking about that makeup. She be talking about them nails. She be showing you the hair. It's a ministry, yeah, yeah.